All right. Um, here's what we have going on. <laughs> There's a couple ways you can run a car. We just run it. Run it where it's not sellable. One thing is to not take care of the interior or the exterior, just let it go. And the vehicle gets to the point to where it's dilapidated, right? And it's very difficult, as you know on this channel, well, you know very well to get a car back from that point. This thing is not that option. The other thing you could do to ruin a car, destroy a car, is wrap it. That's this option. We're three days into it, and you can see behind me, there's still a lot of wrap on it, right? This Jeep wagon is actually black. It's not white, that's a wrap. Um, let me take you guys over to the side, we'll show you, and I'm gonna show you what else is going on with it. Okay, so this is where we're at with it. We got the doors, this back quarter panel done. We've got the wheel arch done. This, when this car was wrapped, everything was taken off of it. All the door handles, all the mirrors, all the emblems are thrown away. All of this side molding here was taken off and put back on, and it was a freaking mess. Yeah, this is the right piece. And what we had done here, let me flip this out so I can see what I'm showing you. These go on the sides, right? So if somebody took them off, they bent them, that's fine. They're just rubber, so we could straighten them back out. But the, on a lot of these, they actually kinked the aluminum insert. Well, this actually peels off, right? So even though these are not usable anymore, um, you know, the rubber piece still is. I think what I'm gonna do here, they make a different insert. They make like a carbon black one, a piano black insert, just this little strip right here. So I got actually ordered the carbon black one. So it's black, but it's carbon fiber, but it's black. So you can barely tell, right? And I got a whole new set of those coming. Let me bring you around. I'll show you what I'm talking about with that's kinked. So this is one we took off. What was this? The front door. You can't really mix them up. But you can see that has a kink in it. You're not going to fix that. And see how wavy this is? Instead of straightening it back out, you can just take your hand and straighten it back out. They just stuck them back on there. So we have some of this going on. Even the AMG thing's kind of all out of whack and all screwed up. This side here isn't too bad. Peel a little bit off there. Holy crap. I trip and broke my neck. You can see I didn't touch anything on this side at all. This is what we were, we're looking here. It's all wavy and all screwed up. So I think what I'm gonna do, all of it has to come off because the wrap's all behind it. All the lights have to come out. The rear bumper has to come off. The spare tire has to come off. The rear door handle has to come off. The whole front bumper, all the front grills. They put that crap on the mirrors on, I mean like, oh my God, right? On the mirrors and everything. And um, all this whole front end has to be disassembled and unwrapped. Now, I know guys, I'm holding this camera and it's hard to hold this big ass camera. I actually think I'm gonna buy another camera with a gimbal. So there'll be a lot better videos coming. This grill has a crack in it and it's broken, but they sprayed this matte black or the satin is what it is, satin black. It looks like black primer, might be black primer. Over the grill, they sprayed this over the whole entire hood. All right, all around the windshield, the whole entire top, sweet, huh? Like who would ever, what kind of nonsense is this? They sprayed the whole rear tire cover and took off the emblem and never put it back on. And like, how are we gonna fix that? So if you look at it, it's not a spray on wrap. It's like hard, right? It feels like primer. It looks like primer and on the bottom, I could take it off with a little solvent, but on top, it won't come off no matter what, like at all. 
So if anybody knows what this stuff is, if this is like some kind of spray on stuff, I don't even know. Let me back up just a little bit. This car was wrapped when it was about one year old, right? This is a 2014 G63. This car was what, a hundred and, I don't know how much they are, 150,000 new, something like that. Who, like what, who would take a car that's one year old at that point, and probably, it probably had 10,000 miles on it. Strip every piece of trim and door handle off, take all the door panels off on the inside to get the door handles off on the outside. Do this to one of these cars. Who would do that to one of these cars? What kind of twisted, demented situation you got running there? And then spray something over the factory paint. I don't know, there's one thing for sure. We'll get everything off the body. It's just gonna take about a week. So I was gonna time lapse this. The damn time lapse is gonna be 14 hours long. So I'll take pictures and kind of document as we go through uh, and do a video on the end. But I just wanna give you guys an update on this. Um, mechanically, everything is good. We're still in our warranty. The only thing I've seen was the radiator cap on the bottom of it. I'll show you guys real quick. It's missing the little deal on the bottom. I gotta set it down and get it because it won't get it. It's missing the little plastic lip on the bottom like the BMWs they break off too. I did see that. I don't know if this cover and warranty or not, but I just ordered a new one is like 30 bucks. That's the only thing I really pick wrong with it. Uh, other than that, it's like, like I said, all the lights. They broke the seals on these. Now they got condensation in them. It just really ruined this vehicle. We'll get it back but it's gonna take a lot of money, a lot of time, and a lot of effort to undo this wrap. So, a lot of you guys wrap your cars, I'm telling you right now, do not, do not do that. Please do not wrap your car, that is a horrible idea. So, I'll show you here, I'm putting you back on the tripod, we're gonna show you just a couple minutes here what it takes to get this stuff off. Okay. So all you guys are saying, oh, Nathan, you just get the heat gun. You just peel that stuff right off. There's nothing to it. I've done it a hundred times. Well, maybe if you put it on there and take it off the same year, but this is six years later. I'm very lucky because I've taken wraps off that were six and seven years old and been in the sun, and they tear off on a piece about like that. And you're using harsh solvents. You're using everything you can. This one will actually peel. He get on low, it's a thin wrap. If you put it on high, it won't come off. We're just gonna heat right in front of it a little bit. This piece is actually coming off easier because it's a dead flat piece except for the curve right there. If you can see any kind of flat surface that comes off fairly easy, Oh my God, horrible. So anyhow, I don't, I'm not gonna do the whole thing because you get the idea. And whenever you have about 200 square foot of this to do with all kinds of crevices and bends and on the bends, it's stretched so it just wants to rip real easy. Um, you end up with this and Overall, the paint's really good on it. Um, so far, the only damage we found was a little ding here. A tiny little ding. You probably see it on camera if you can't. Probably a little PDR on that. And then over here on the driver's door, there is a tiny little ding right there. And that's it. All these are all the holes for the trim. We've already peeled this mirror, but I didn't take it off yet. So as you can see here, it's gotta be taken off and peeled underneath of it. So if you guys have any ideas on how to get this off or what this even is, let me know in the comments. It's not rubbery, it's just hard, right? So we'll see. And also all these emblems are all Chinese emblems. The original ones are chrome. 
bucks. They put all Chinese. I actually saw this kit on eBay for 30 bucks. This emblem C63, G63, I'm sorry. This AMG. And then both of the V8 by turbo ones. Um, I shopped around, got all OEM Chrome stuff again. Uh, I think it all together was 70 ish dollars for that. So not really too bad. And then the one on the spare tire that was missing, that one alone is about 50 to 100 bucks. Depends on which exactly one you want. Um, yeah. So all you gotta ask real quick why I bought this. Like I said in the first video, it kind of popped up. It was at a price I was okay with. It was at a dealership. It wasn't sold at the dealership for two reasons. One reason it's wrapped. Nobody's gonna buy that because nobody knows what's under the paint. So they kept dropping the price, dropping the price. The second, the salesman at the dealership are extremely hard to deal with. They're very arrogant. It was a dealership that sold Lamborghinis and Ferraris and stuff like that. They were assholes, right? Let's put it, I'm probably watching this, I don't care. You guys are total assholes. I bullied through it, got the deal done, and everybody came home happy. I'm very happy with the car. We just need to get this nonsense off of it. Other than that, the inside is immaculate. There's no mechanical issues. Like I said, we're still under warranty, under powertrain warranty. Um, it dries really good. I am going to swap these tires that has Yokohama Advand or some, some nonsense on it. I don't like those tires. They're a little bit worn on the inside and the outside on the front. It does understeer a slight bit. So what we're gonna do is put the tires I want on it and then have it aligned. I think that'll take care of all the issue. Other than personal preference, like these tires would run years, but you guys know me, I'm picky, all right? Curse with the pickiness. Picky, everything's gotta be just so-so. And once that's the case, I'm happy with it. Why did I get the G63 and not the C63 or E63 AMG? This thing was, this thing costs about twice as much as the same year uh, C63 or E63. No, this thing costs almost three times as much, <laughs> to be totally honest with you. Um, but n there's not a lot of people doing these. Everybody doing them had good views, so there's a large following for them is what that tells me. Uh, it's more usable for my preference. I didn't want to go buy another sports car because I already have some of those. And this is something a little bit different, right? So hope you guys enjoy. Be a bunch more videos on this coming up. Don't forget to check out the Porsche channel. We're doing videos over there also. Nathan's Porsche Workshop. Go check it out. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.